Hey everyone, uh, thank you for joining us here on the Thread Raiders Twitch channel for Extra Life, and we are doing these segments called Get to Know a Thread Raider. I am your host, So Maddie Games, aka Maddie, and I am here with my good friend, the uh, most, I, I would say, like literally the most adorable person in the world. I, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's me, um, but I know people who think this too. Uh, <laughs> my good friend at Dire Fuxicorn, Joy. Joy, how you doing? Good, good. Um, yeah. It I'm is. I'm tired. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, full disclosure, folks. Uh, yeah, we probably uh, right now during Extra Life are very tired. Uh, but while we're recording this, this is, I don't know, it's in the morning, it's in the weekend, and uh, yeah. Still tired, still, still tired. Still waking up. and Won't not... be not relevant, though. <laughs> right, right, you know. But here we are, uh, total, that was totally meta or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so um, we're going to do some fun questions, and we're going to get to know Joy. Uh, so, Joy... The uh the first question I ask everyone here is in your own words, and I hope that uh the lack of sleep or the lack of caffeine doesn't uh, hold you up too much on this. But uh, this should be relatively something that just kind of comes from the heart. Um, in your own words, what is a thread reader? Oh man, um just very like supportive of each other um creative individuals we like to work on projects together um help each other out uh as far as participation or signal boost or uh offer any support that we can to each other and uh and do some fun creative stuff together totally that that is that is a fantastic answer and it is uh it is a very creative group there are definitely uh, s some phenomenal uh, creative minds at work. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, for the folks at home um, who may see you on Twitter or in Discord um, and, you know, may not know, like, the person behind the screen. Um, so let's, let's, let's dive into that a little bit and uh, so joy what is what is your day job what is that uh when you're not doing the internets and stuff like that <laughs> you know like um and the games and the fun bits uh what is the day job like i am a graphic artist i work for a safety apparel company um i do a lot of uh art proofs um original art, uh, text setting. I also run a, uh, a printer for apparel, apparel vinyl, uh, digital plotter and process all of the graphics in addition to making them. And then they get pressed onto high-vis garments and people go out and get seen so that they don't get hit by a car or a plane or whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so your work saves lives. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. We are a safety company. <laughs> Love it. Um, so the third graders, we all pretty much, uh, we all stem from that, uh, TTRPG Twitter community and, uh, that's kind of how we all met. Um, so with TTRPGs in mind, uh, tabletop role-playing games, uh, what was your introduction to TTRPGs? Um, a friend of mine in like late middle school or high school i uh, used to play a second edition game and he lived in it was a town like two towns over from me and he would play with his local friends and one time he invited me to go so i showed up and i wrote up an elf and immediately got killed and i wrote up another elf and and that was that <laughs> wow <laughs> uh what was the class uh, I can't remember. I had a ranger and I had a fighter and I had a blade singer and I had a lot of characters die. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
second edition okay this yeah yeah see now this is yeah blade singer was in the complete book of elves which like to this day is one of the best D, &D books to me that has ever existed like it's... i still reference it today that's that's awesome yeah that's that is one of those books it's a, it's a great book i i was never a huge fan of the second edition at the time just because we were still purists of first edition you know like, <laughs> i'm showing my age here folks um but yeah the uh, some of the books that came out of second edition were pretty epic and yeah. the book of elves is definitely one of them yes i would have to agree uh, so we're going to move over to a rapid fire segment here. And the first one here is going to be an either or situation. So it's real simple. You just uh, pick which one uh, you would choose and you have to choose one. Uh, okay. There's no both. There's no waffling. You have to pick <laughs> one. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, and in true red, uh, Thread Raider fashion, pizza or tacos? Pizza. Video games or board games? Video games. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. I live in Atlanta. <laughs> oh, true, true. Uh, winter or summer? Winter. Game of Thrones or Stranger Things? Stranger Things. Marvel or DC? Marvel. But I love some DC, but Marvel. <laughs> Rock or hip hop? Rock. Uh, spicy or mild? Spicy. There you go. <laughs> Texting or talking? Texting. <laughs> Invisibility or super strength? Super strength. There you go. Uh, cake or pie? Oh no, a hard one. Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the final one, and I think I already know this one, cats or dogs? Cats. Yep. <laughs> I, I find it weird because, like, I, I don't dislike dogs, but I haven't been around dogs enough in my life to know dog body language, so I don't understand what they want. <laughs> right. Okay. I get that. I get that. Uh, I kind of, I don't know. Yeah. I we have we have both uh you know dogs are great but yeah if i had to pick one cats please all day every day you know they're so laid back oh my usually. god and simon was so laid back he fell in the sink yesterday <laughs> <laughs> yes ah oh, i love that god cats are awesome um they're hilarious so we were talking about gaming and uh and that is a I think it's a big part of our uh, interests and our, our, our free time. Um, but outside of gaming, what are your hobbies and interests? Um, I like to watch really bad horror movies and occasionally good horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do uh, cosplay. I've been doing cosplay for a very long time. I'm sadly quite lazy now, but... <laughs> Hopefully next season I'll come up with some more stuff. Oh, um, awesome. And I also like playing video games. Not as much as that one does. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, don't call, don't call the wife. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, we at the Thread Raiders, we love to talk about food. Uh, so much so. Uh, so, with that in mind, if you had to choose a, a last meal of sorts, a, a final, final meal of the ultimate food that you would want to eat, last thing before you leave this earth, what would that be? Oh, that's tough. Um, I'm on a really big, like, eggplant kick, so... Oh, okay. uh, like a, a nice eggplant parmesan with spaghetti would probably be nice. I like that. I like that. Um, anything else? Um, when I lived in California, we used to go to a place that did uh, that did steamed broccoli with like a caramelized butter sauce. Oh. It was really good and sprinkle some cheese on it. Mm. 
basically just put cheese on everything that I'm eating. <laughs> cheese makes everything better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, speaking of food, I, uh, no, you know what? Well, yeah, that is the first one, so we'll do that. We're going to skip back over to another rapid fire, and this one is word association. So okay. I'm going to oh, I'm going to say a word <laughs> and you just say the first thing that comes to mind, okay? So, uh in true thread writer fashion, the first word is tacos. Pizza. Twitter. Handle. D&D. Beyond. Uh puns. Carry. <laughs> uh kilts. TK. Pizza? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs. Coco. Cats. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple. Pizza. Mayo. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. No thanks. <laughs> Nighttime. No thanks. <laughs> Thread Raiders. Thread Raiders. I don't really have a word for that. I just listen to like the the intro for the podcast plays in my head, so it, just a lot of people saying Thread Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I love it. Um, so uh, with uh, we were talking about food, and I'm wondering, so if there was a food, any food that you could just ban from existence, what would it be? Sauerkraut. Okay. Not a fan. Huh. All right. I I can understand that. I can see that. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. It's, it's one of those things. I can take it or leave it. It just, you know, it's okay. But. Yeah. I know a lot of people who like it. I'm just not one of them. Yeah. I know a lot of people who like it too, and... I mean, I'm half German. I should like it, but uh, <laughs> no. um, so uh, we talked about work and we've talked about gaming and and hobbies and whatnot. Um, but what does a typical day off look like for you? Um, I usually hang out with uh, my housemate and watch youtube or play games or watch stupid movies um we do we're trying to fix up the backyard um or we'll if it's nice out we'll be in the pool oh a oh, pool mm. yeah that's so nice i, I love it uh. I was so sad that I could barely swim at all this summer because oh, of my surgery i couldn't go in the water for like six weeks torture torture i mean you only get like half the year and yeah yeah um okay our final rapid fire here is gonna be a name that thread raider okay ah so i'm gonna i'm gonna list off something and then you're gonna think uh you're gonna tell me the thread raider that comes to mind okay so we'll start Biggest flirt. Ah, oh, geez. It's been a while. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay. Uh... I, like last year, I would have said ghost, but. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, we miss you, ghost. We love you, buddy. We miss you, ghost. Um, most sensible. Uh, I don't know. We kind of all like overextend ourselves at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, who is our logical person? <laughs> we all just encourage each other in wild ideas, I think. <laughs> it, we really do. Uh, that is. That I, I want to be sure. like David, but David does a lot of like huge projects as well. Yeah, um, though I feel like he probably is 
probably the most balanced of us all anyway you know <laughs> like he literally can you know he seems to be able to handle what he's doing without even looking like he's sweating you know yeah Where the rest of us are just like ah <laughs> <laughs> Give me more, give me more. Ah! Um, biggest jokester. Coco. Uh, best smile. I like everybody's smiling face. That's that's a fair answer. That's a fair answer. Uh, softest heart. Kit. Biggest eater. Oh. I know, tough one, right? <laughs> yeah, because, like, who posts the most food in the food channel? Like, I see I see Dak a lot. That would be a good answer there. Uh, and our final one, quickest wit. Not joy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I should have said Jackie for that last one. Oh! I just started following his food Instagram yesterday. I know, right? Uh, no, Jackie is, yeah, he eats so much. I <laughs> have conversations with him, and I'm like, dude, come on, whoa. Uh, now, yeah, when I was younger, sure, but no, not anymore. Uh, so, that was... Those were our questions. That was our little uh, get to know a Thread Raider segment here with my good friend Joy. Uh, so, Joy, where can folks find you on the internet? And uh, do you have any last words for the folks at home? Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for being here and supporting our uh, extra life. Um, you can find me online at Dire Foxicorn on Twitter, on Tumblr and on uh, Twitch. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you everyone for uh, hanging out with us today. Uh, hope you enjoy these video segments and I hope you stick around. Uh, we've got a lot more gaming and a lot more uh, prizes and fun and silliness in store for you for the children's hospitals and uh, yeah. If you can, please donate. Uh, have a fantastic day, and we will see you next time.